Greetings, Brick fans. Here's how I built a mock of the Batman Beyond Batmobile. Batman Beyond took place in 2039 in the futuristic setting of Neo Gotham. In this series, it featured the adventures of Terry McGinnis, the new Batman, teaming up with an aging Bruce Wayne. The futuristic setting required a futuristic Batmobile. This was certainly one of the most distinctive looking of Batman's rides. And here's my mock of the Batman Beyond Batmobile. So just to give you an idea of the size of uh, this particular mock, I have it here compared with uh, the Ultimate Collector Series uh, Batmobile that was released last year, the 1989 Batmobile, and the Aston Martin set, which came out, I believe, two years ago. The large Batmobile here, Lego set, which is great, probably one of the best sets I've ever made, is what I would call about one-tenth scale. It's somewhere between one-tenth and one-eleventh and it's huge. If you've had this set or you've seen it, you know how big it is. Extremely detailed. What I've been doing with most of my Batmobiles lately is about 1 15th scale. That's why I call them large scale, not Ultimate Collector Series scale. As you can see here, yep, it's very similar scale to the Aston Martin or the Mustang set or a few others from the Creator Expert line that have come out in recent years. I say about 1 15th scale, because to make it 1 15th, it would have to be almost exactly 16 inches, and I think this one is 16 and a half, maybe 16 and a quarter. So, close enough though. And again, just to give you a comparison here, so I'm gonna roll the big bat will be all out the way. It scales very well with the animated series, which I'll be doing a video on soon, and the 1940, vehicle from, uh, it was a Detective Comics number 37, I believe. These are all right at what I'll call 1 15th scale. Again, pretty close. Gives you an idea of how long the animated series, let me move that one out of the way too. The animated series Batmobile is by comparison with the other vehicles. And so, yeah, 1 15th scale. Personally, I love working this scale. It's big enough that I can provide very good detail but it's not so big that it takes up half your shelf. Which again, you know, the, the uh, 1989 Batmobile set from last year, great set, it's just massive. Personally, I wish Lego would make more, kind of like in this size, like the Creator Expert, but you know, I'm not in charge at Lego. Regardless, they are making some great sets. As always, we wanna start with the foundation or the base. And if you look on the inside here, I've pulled out some of the plates, you can see how uh, the, the center of it is all based the whole length of it on these Technic bricks. These are four by six Technic bricks with hollow centers. See how uh, that works? And what it allows you to do is use the Technic pens to attach them to each other. And then on the bottom of that, see after we've added those, and it's the same one over here, we just add a layer of plates on the bottom. Any color, you know, up to you. I like to mix in a little gray there because the underside of this particular Batmobile was actually some parts of it were gray. And then we add a couple of these two by two, they're called uh, inverted round curved discs. Uh, they're usually used with boat pieces. We add those partly to seal it, make it more stable, but also partly to give it that ability to look like it's floating. On the outside here, you can see we used four of the red one by one bricks with studs on the side, also known as snot bricks, and on each side. See? And what that allows us to do is attach different uh, little pieces for kind of a greeboy effect. One thing with these little grilled tiles, you notice normally you put them like that, but in the center, see how there's that single little piece in the center, allows you to put it dead centered on there so it covers it up, sort of, and allows it a hint of red on the inside, and you know, so overall, this is probably one of the most swooshable and sturdy mocks I've been able to put together. Uh, I think a lot of that is really due to, as I mentioned earlier, the Technic 4x6 bricks and the plates in there. It makes it very solid, very good technique. I would uh, definitely want to repeat that in the future. So looking at it from the front, uh, the, let's see, make sure you can see that. The 1x4 curved slopes right here. I had a bunch of those from the Pick a Bricks uh, wall at my local Lego store. So had those for a nice uh, smooth effect there. Added in some tiles. 
these two little, oops, yes, you can see it. These two little corner tiles here, makes it look good. Yeah, nice front end. Also on the front end, I want to point out these inverted slopes, sorry, inverted arches, what they're called, it added in. And right here, instead of a one by one brick, what I decided to do was put in three of the one by one studs. It gives it a little more surface detail, kind of a greebling effect, like I mentioned earlier. It makes it a little more interesting. Now for these front pieces here, use two of the one by two bricks with two studs on the side, also known as snot bricks, to attach here. And this is a, I believe this is a 12 by six by three corner plate or wedge plate, and the opposite one on the other side. And pretty straightforward, adding it there, using the tiles to attach the other plates, giving it sort of a curved look. And right here, this little piece, this is a one by, sorry, a two by three right, or maybe left, yeah, corner plate. And this little plate here, I'm not sure what they call them. They started making these a couple years ago. I happen to have a bunch of them. Comes to a point, you can see uh, slightly different there from the regular wedge plate. And for this particular mock, I think that was exactly the right piece I needed to give it that nice sharp point there. And so, yeah, that's how the, uh, the front pieces are put together. Then, let's see. For the rear pieces, these kind of teardrop shaped pieces, similar thing, since these are a little bigger, I use two of the one by four uh, bricks with studs on the side, also known as snot bricks, to attach here. Happen to have a couple of these. Uh, these are older types of wedge plates. You see how they are a little different than uh, the newer ones. Um, got these out of an old yard sale, I think. And yeah, gives it just the right look. Adding another plate there, this front end is a little thicker, using the tiles to smooth it out and also help attach them. Again, using the little pointed wedge plate here. And let's see, yeah, two of the, let's see, what is that? Four by four rounded corner bricks. If you don't have those, you could stack three of the four by four rounded corner plates together. Same thing, it's uh, parts out of other parts, also known as poop. Yes, I did not make that up. That is an actual term, just like snot. Studs not on top, All right? Speaking of which, I want to point out one thing. I like doing this one when I have to because it can actually add some. Right here, what I wanted to use originally was a couple of the two by three corner bricks, kind of like this one here. I only had one on that side, didn't have any for that side, but stack up three of these plates together. Again, parts out of other parts, also known as poop. And if you see, it actually adds a little more surface detail, kind of a grilled look. So definitely recommend you try that in some of your mocks. So that, that can look, uh, wind up looking really good. All right, and uh, the cockpit. The cockpit on uh, the Batman Beyond animated series, uh, it was pretty much always red. A little small uh, seat in here. We didn't, never really got a very good look at it. It was always Terry McGinnis on the inside, so we just sort of see it in the background. And then a little bit of lights and pieces here, just to make it interesting. Now the steering stick right there. Uh, again, not too big, but definitely big enough uh, where it could fit someone inside. And using this piece here, if you notice this type of windshield, it follows the exact same curve as these two by six uh, I think they're called um, double angle or, do or double curve, whatever they are pieces. So when it's closed, it actually seals up really well. Let's see other building techniques. Curve slopes back here, curve slopes back here. Again, using studs, three studs stacked up, a little bit of surface detail. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This goes back together, it looks pretty good. Up. Again, can't recommend enough if you can using the Technic bricks uh, uh, on the inside with plates on the bottom and top. 
does produce a very, very solid, very swooshable. Again, I can almost toss this to someone else. And so this has been my large scale mock of the Batman Beyond Batmobile. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.